What's up everybody, it's Marcus here, Twisted Barbell. And today I just wanted to do a quick video, jump on the bandwagon if you will, testing out my Rep Fitness strap safeties. some emerging information coming forward where some of the strap safety hardware has failed. Brandon Diamond of Brandon Baseman has done a video testing his. His were okay. Uh, I got mine probably late June to July, early July. So I'm not sure if mine are part of the recall batch, but I did get the email and they are supposed to be sending me uh, some replacement hardware. Now you may note that I have mine custom colored, I had them powder coated. So they did go undergo a chemical bath to remove the original powder coating before they were re-powder coated with this color. But that doesn't affect the strength of the welds in any way. So that being said, I have this loaded up with almost as much weight as I have. So it is about 465 pounds. I have another set of 45s coming, but I don't have them today. And frankly, I don't think I'm gonna be lifting that much anytime soon. So if the strap safeties hold this up like they are right now, I think I'm okay. Nonetheless, once my new strap safety hardware comes in, I will be swapping them out. But I'm going to see if I can test these with a bit of a drop. I'm not even sure if I can lift this 465 pounds, to be honest. But I'm going to do my best and see. Make note of the time on the clock back there in case this has to be a time of death kind of thing. But let's see what happens, okay? Nope, I'm incapable of lifting that much weight. The only other thing I could do is maybe put some additional pressure with my foot, but I'm not really sure I want to do that. So right now, since I can't test it in a drop, maybe what I'll do is try taking some weight off and doing a drop with a lighter weight that I can actually lift. Let's give this a quick shot. This is 345 pounds. Okay, so I'm back now and I've essentially tested my strap safeties with a drop of about a foot with 345 pounds. Uh, I tried heavier weight than that, but I, I couldn't lift it. So you have the 345, that was the most I could lift. The other footage you'll see, I have a lot more than that just sitting on the strap safeties, but the most I could drop on it was 345 and they held up just fine. I, Took a look at the welds on these and they seem fine. I don't see any kind of issue. I'm gonna get a quick close-up look of the welds. You can see there are no issues that I've identified. It's kind of weird that Rep doesn't weld the top and the bottoms, but they do weld both sides. I guess they assume that's enough. But I'm gonna take a look at the other side. And you'll see on this one, there's a slight gap in that space at the top get it close and here you can see that gap I was talking about but that's not a separation of welds there was never a weld there they only weld on the sides both sides and that is sufficient apparently because they've been without issue I'm not sure if mine are part of the exact recall but I did get an email from rep so they are expected to be sending me uh, some new strap safety hardware and at that time, I will switch these out. Safety first, right? So that's it, there you have it. So far, these trap safeties are holding up just fine. Again, that's just mine. Once I do get the replacement hardware, I do intend to replace these. So there you have it. Thanks again for joining me, take care.